Hey everybody, Josh here, back with Planet Chinchilla. Uh, I took a day off here of making a video, so I wanted to get back in the mix here and come at you with kind of a weird video. Um, <clears throat> so, Chili hasn't been out for her playtime today, and I had a question pop up on the blog, which if you haven't been to that, it's at planetchinchilla.com. Again, it's planetchinchilla.com. But anyways, um, it looks like some new chinchilla owners are a little bit concerned with their chinchillas grinding their teeth. Um, so I just wanted to talk about that while letting her kind of come out and run around for a minute. Um, so I'm just going to open these doors here. And if you guys didn't know already, I don't make this playtime anything too dramatic. I uh, just let her come out as she pleases. It is a chinchilla safe room, so I don't get too overly concerned with her hurting herself down here. It's kind of a small little basement room, so she just kind of comes out and does her thing, and then when she's ready to go back in, obviously I just let her back into her cage. But anyways, the chinchilla grinding their teeth. So I just wrote a blog post about this, so I wanted to kind of calm everybody down because it seems like people are concerned that when their chinchillas do grind their teeth, that that automatically means that there's a dental problem or that their chinchilla is sick, which is not always the case. Um, so Chili here has not been sick to the extent where I have to take her to the vet um, for any teeth related issues yet, but she does grind her teeth from time to time for a couple different reasons is what I've figured out. Um, reason number one that your chinchilla may grind their teeth is because of a dental problem. So if their teeth become overgrown, or they're having any pain, they may grind their teeth to kind of alleviate that pain. But one thing that you can look for, if that's a concern, is they'll usually be grooming themselves a little bit differently or kind of biting at their own fur. Um, that's kind of a tall tale sign that they're trying to alleviate some pain throughout the process. Um, another reason can be just for no reason at all. So she'll grind her teeth sometimes just sitting on my lap, um, you know, goofing off. So it really just depends on how your chinchilla decides to express herself or himself, I suppose, in that manner. Um, and then another reason that they may grind their teeth as well could be just a form of communication. So sometimes it seems like whenever she wants me to stop doing something, she'll either make a little squeak or she will do the, the little teeth clatter. So that's another third reason that you could experience that. And I detail this out much better in the blog post at Planet Chinchilla. Dot com. Um, it's just called Why Do Chinchillas Grind Their Teeth? And I think it's called, you know, Four Solutions or um, Possible Causes. So if you just Google Why Do Chinchillas Grind Their Teeth, hopefully um, it's somewhere easy to find there in the first couple pages. But you're just looking for the URL that says Planet Chinchilla. And I break it down in depth on the things to look for to make sure you don't have a potential issue. Um, the second concern um, that I've seen pop up lately is talking about the insides of their ears. So I was on a Facebook group yesterday and somebody was concerned because they have a lighter colored chinchilla. As you guys may know or may not know at this point, you can get these come in different breeds, different varieties. Um, see if I can zoom this out a little bit and get a more clear picture of her inner ear. But sometimes their inner ears will turn red to where you can see the blood vessels. And this is something to worry about. When that happens, that typically means that they're overheating. So if you just bought a chinchilla, and it's extremely easy to see the inner part of the ears with the blood vessels, or even the outer part of the ears with the blood vessels, typically that means it's time to calm down. Um, maybe they got excited, maybe they're around another pet, like a dog, or even my two-year-old can sometimes get chilly here to overheat slightly. Um, if that's the case, <clears throat> you need to make sure that they don't overheat. So um, always making sure that it's a controlled climate in the room that they're in. So we're down in a basement. There is a dehumidifier down here as well just to kind of keep the air kind of non-humid for her. And the temp down here is usually about 66. So it's a little chilly, ironically, no pun intended since her name's chilly. But for me, it's a little bit cold down here, but I don't mind working in a colder environment. It kind of keeps me awake and my office is down here if you guys haven't seen any of the other videos so it's just a room where i've wrapped all the cords um with wraps things like that and then over here is just kind of a 
studio mat for making these videos with chili, but um, if your chinchilla's ears do turn red, um, bring it back a notch. Don't be chasing them around. Don't be making them overly exert. And I don't know if you just heard her squeak, so I think she knows she's on camera, so she's being a little bit timid. Um, but yeah, the ears turning red is something to worry about. And then item number three that came up recently is about the fleece that you see in the cage. So you see the red fleece on that level, that level there, top level, and that is a like a potty training um, setup that I'm working with her with right now. And then up here on this top level, and then you got her hammock, everything else, the wooden shelves. But the fleece, um, you can also Google that um, particular question, and I should come up, you know, in the first few pages. And that will give you a full breakdown as well. It's just called, is fleece safe for chinchillas? And again, you're looking for the URL for planetchinchilla.com. If you just click on that, is fleece safe for chinchillas and find me in there. I'll break down where I bought this, how I use it, and some of the things to look for. <laughs> but the moral of the story with the fleece is it's cheaper in the long run. It's better on their feet. So their feet are very fragile. They got little small bones. Um, since she's being kind of perfect here for zooming in on body parts, I'm sure you can see those tiny little toes or paws that they have. So those wire cage bottoms um, that a lot of cages come from when you get them from a breeder. It's not that it's going to break their toes or anything crazy like that. It's just over time, it's not as good on their body because these guys jump and climb all over the place. I mean, she jumps. If you see this door over here. She jumps up on that ledge. I've seen her attempt, which she has not successfully done it, nor do I want her to. There's another shelf up top on the door. She thinks that she's capable of doing that, um, but she's not LeBron James yet, so no, she can't make that jump. And then there's this built-in Murphy bed over here, and she thinks that she needs to browse our movies and everything else up here on the top. Um, she never hurts herself doing that, but she also likes to get on these shelves back here in this corner so they can jump yeah clearly she was upset about the camera being on her because now she wants to come out and about <clears throat> I'm a Cardinals fan so any of you that want to post a comment here on the videos down below here about your teams feel free to let me know but thankfully while I'm shooting this video the Cardinals are ranking number one in the National League Central so I don't think I have too much banter to worry about from anybody <clears throat> um, anyways the fleece back to the fleece so I am trying to potty train her. That's why you see that white tray up top. That has basically a formula of a litter set up in there to where I'm trying to attempt to make her urinate or pee in that setup. It is a slow process. Basically, you have to take a couple shavings or pieces of the old bedding, like the bedding that's in her travel kit here, um, that is covered with urine and get her used to that scent inside of those trays to get it to work. It has worked with her, so what she's doing, and this is filthy right now, so I apologize. It's actually cage cleaning day as well. <laughs> what you'll see is, now she's just pooping on the bottom pan liner here, um, frantically or all the time, but she's not peeing on it, which is a good sign. And she's also not peeing on the middle level anymore, which is where her hiding box is. She is still peeing, however, on the fleece, on the level by the litter box, but she is peeing in the litter box as well. So it's like it's taking and working, but slowly. She hasn't quite figured it out, and she's narrowed it down to just peeing on one level. So my hopes is that we can eventually square this away to where it works completely because of the fleece. That's the whole magic to the game. The fleece, the poop comes right off. I just use the shot back, shot vacuum it out while she's out running around. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Um, the urine, however, has to be washed. Um, there's no magic trick for that. You can wait about a week if you only have one chinchilla because they don't pee these gigantic puddles of urine. It's just these tiny little spatters of, of urine. I mean, as long as you're not scaring a female chinchilla to where she sprays you and that's it. So I, I do hers every Sunday afternoon. So I'll take all of this fleece off of these liners and you have to wash them in cold water. You don't want to shrink them because these are fit um, precisely to go around the trays that come in these Critter Nation 2 cages, which is the cage that I recommend right now. So I have tried a couple other ones. 
um, since I've had her, if I can learn how to use the zoom on a camera. This is a cage you're looking for, is this Critter Nation dual level. And what dual level means is you have this middle, middle insert here that can either be closed, so it comes with a door that goes right here in this spot. If you have two chinchillas, you have two, the option for two sets of shelves, jumping area, and you're going to want on the bottom. If you have one chinchilla, like the situation that I'm in right now, then you just, they basically have the holy grail of the cage, which is awesome. I mean, the problem for me is, is I want another chinchilla here in the next few weeks, so eventually she might lose um, a little bit of her space during certain times of the day. Because they can be bonded and paired and live together and interact on the same levels. But it's also nice that you have the ability to close these off if need be. Um, which is why I recommend this cage. They're just easy to use, easy to clean. Plenty of space for them to do their thing. Jump around. Uh, whatever the case may be. Um, I mean, as you can see, there's still no winning formula with chinchillas. Outside of letting them just run around and do their thing. And I might be able to get her on video here. Jumping on her shelves. If I can. I mean, she's just being kind of wild right now. She hasn't been out yet today. I usually let her out for at least one hour each day. Um, just to give her plenty of time uh, to kind of exercise, get out and about, and do her thing. But anyways, the fleece. Cold water, wash them once a week. If you have two chinchillas, move that up to twice a week or every four days. Otherwise, you will smell the urine eventually. Um, with her, I do not smell it ever because I do it once a week. And if you just stay, there's no point in waiting for that smell to happen to wash them. If you just do it once a week, you won't have a problem. Nothing to worry about. So we have key number one, it's easy to clean, easy to wash. Key number two is it is fit perfectly for these cages and you can do other cages as well. Um, they make them custom and I will put a link in the description below so that you can find these easily. Number three, it's better on their feet. So you know that it's ultimately more comfortable for your chinchilla to do this. Um, outside of that, I don't really think that there needs to be any better explanations. I mean, it's going to save you money. There's nothing you have to buy on a recurring basis that costs a lot of money with a chinchilla. I mean, you have the Timothy Hay, the cubes, the food, everything like that, of course. But you have this bedding that you have to use all the time if you don't use this fleece. So you're constantly shop vacuuming or sweeping or dumping all of this bedding into a tray or a garbage bag, taking it out and then replacing it. And it's if you got a kind of a somewhat clean basement like this, it just makes a mess around the cage and it's a pain in the, the rear. Um, so using this is just easy. And let's say, I believe these cost me, so I got a total of one, two, three, four. Four total liners. So you got one on the bottom, one on her hut, one on the big tray there, one on the top. I have four ramps. I just don't have all the ramps in. The reason you don't have the ramp up here in this middle area is because I like to just encourage her to make that jump by herself. Get her up and get her moving. No free, no free passes. Let's get her exercising and doing her thing. Um, and then it comes with a backup, like one extra sleeve and then the extra ramps for these cages. So you get a lot of value for, I believe it's like $60. Um, and I had them within like a day or two. So if you just order two sets of them, you might spend about a hundred bucks, but then you could downgrade your washings to every other week because you have two sets at all times and you can do a lot of things with them. Or you can learn to make your own if you're really that crafty with it. Um, but how long would that take at that math for it to cancel out to where you're saving money because of the bedding. I mean, you're gonna eventually buy enough shavings that you spend a hundred dollars. And if these can be washed and used for years, you're winning, you're making them more comfortable. Um, it's better on their feet, easier to clean, doesn't smell, doesn't mess up your floors. I mean, unless she decides to pee right in the middle of my white baseball and my Cardinals mat here. Um, now she's kind of being like an intention guru usually she's nowhere in this vicinity when she's out she likes to go in the corners jump on the couch go jump on my books basically jump on anything i prefer her not to um that's the relationship we have at this point is i'm gonna make you mad while i'm out but you still love me because i'm super soft kind of deal um but anyways yeah it's a great investment so hopefully 
you know, the idea of this video was to cover a few things. Watch out for their ears turning red. That is a danger sign that they're getting too hot. So ears red, not good. Teeth grinding, if you just bought a chinchilla, relax. It doesn't necessarily mean anything bad. It could mean nothing. If, however, they're going to town on their own bodies or they're fur slipping, or which is where they lose a little patch of their fur, they're doing other odd behaviors with the teeth grinding, then you can call a vet. Or you should smell an odor at that point. So if you, you know, you, you see them or hear them teeth grinding and they also stink out of the blue because it, I mean if you haven't owned a chinchilla yet you may not know this but chinchillas don't have a smell I mean they're literally perfect animals to adopt they live a long time they're great with people um, they're not messy I mean if they poop you can clean it up in two seconds um, they're not loud they don't bark at strangers they don't claw your friends when they come through the front door but the the teeth grinding situation if they do have a smell coming from them, that usually indicates that they have some kind of illness or an overgrown tooth. Think of it like when a human has a cavity or you have a tooth that needs obvious attention from a dentist. Your chinchilla is the same way. They have rat-like teeth that are very delicate with how they puncture through the gums as they grow. So if you have that odor and you have that teeth grinding, you have a problem. If they're just grinding their teeth sitting on your lap or goofing off, they might just do that to either let you know, hey, I'm done with you, I'm going to go back in my cage, or I'm going to go jump off these random walls and see what kind of damage I can do. Or it could be even them expressing that they enjoy what you're doing. There's no way to really know unless you know your chinchilla that well. But the, the concern that I saw in the Facebook communities made me worry um, because I know for a fact that my chinchilla is fine and she'll do that from time to time. So I just wanted to put people at a peace of mind using this video that you don't have to stress that badly about this teeth grinding. Um, and then item number three, so we have the ears, inner ears, danger, red, not good. Teeth, could be good, could be bad. Don't stress out too much till you know. Fleece, go out and buy it. It's not that expensive. Chinchillas are pretty expensive when you first adopt them. If you can afford a chinchilla, you can likely get the fleece. It's better on their feet, easier to clean, better overall. If you buy the fleece, this is a bonus item, attempt the potty training method, which I will make a new video for. It works, I think. I can't promise you that, and I don't want to lie on camera or on YouTube. But she will pee in it. I do use shavings. Um, basically what I do, so every now and then where she pees often on these mats, I'll put some of the old Aspen shavings that I still have back here in a closet, um, and I will put those in those spots so that she pees on them again, I get the urine smell, I can place it in the litter pan, and then begin her basically breaking in process of slowly understanding that this is where we go potty. If you can master this and get it, please be sure to drop a comment below because I'm still working on it. And I can only imagine how easy life would be if all I had to do is shop back out for 15 seconds a day, the poop pellets. That would be it and my chinchilla would be probably the cleanest animal on the planet that you could adopt and never smell. So clearly that's a, a bonus for everybody. But anyways, okay, so how to read more about this info. If you want to see more about this, read more about it, much more in depth. I'm not nearly as good of a speaker on camera as I am at writing the blog post about her. So I do like to blog um, and I'm much better at portraying the important information in those blogs. So for the ears turning red, you would go to planet, P-L-A-N-E-T, chinchilla.com. You would look for the article or use my search bar that says, why do chinchillas ears turn red? My titles are usually the exact questions that I think people are going to ask so that we can all ethically take care of these guys. For the shaking, or the teeth grinding, I'm sorry, um, simply type in, why do chinchillas grind their teeth? I believe the article is titled, why do chinchillas grind their teeth? Question mark four possible reasons plus solutions. It should be somewhere on page one or two of Google. Um, I really try and make a lot of these posts about chinchillas, so it seems like Google seems to think that I know a little bit about what I'm talking about, so it should be in there somewhere. And for the fleece, it's just, is fleece safe for your chinchilla? So Google that, find planet chinchilla, read about it, drop a comment, send me questions, whatever you wanna do. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today, you know. As always, I appreciate you guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe below. 
Um, otherwise, I will see you next time. And again, it's planetchinchilla.com. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see